everyone happy monday i am here again to do to post another video and you know a lot of times it might seem it might really seem like i have a life outside of my immediate family but you guys i really don't like i don't i really don't go out i don't do much like if if i ever if i go out it's it's a good day that must mean that i have a, a babysitter and really um you know um i really don't i don't drink i really don't drink anymore and or any of that stuff like maybe once or twice a month i might have one or two glasses of wine but i really don't indulge in those kinds of things anymore or if me and my husband we go out on a date which is maybe like once every three months um then you know i'll have an occasional wine or something like that but really you guys i really don't indulge in those things anymore you know i, I want to be able to go out again and, and like when my when my kids are older um that will become more of a possibility but right now you know i'm such a homebody it's not even funny and the topic i wanted to just talk about today is um complete surrender to god um surrendering completely to to god and god's will the lord and his his will for your life and that's just kind of like the phase that i'm in right now it's just complete and total surrender to Yahweh, Yahusha, Yahshua, um, because I feel as though our relationship has been growing more um, through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has been moving through me a lot better, and um, you know I've just been um, open to listening to the Holy Spirit more. And you know complete surrender to the holy spirit complete surrender to god is it's one of the most powerful most amazing blessings you could possibly do and you know we as people we a lot of times when you see these atheists or anybody who's in complete denial of christ of the holy spirit um They, I think they're in denial because they don't want to look inside of themselves. They don't want to accept the flaws that they have, right? That's that, that God-like mentality, you know? They don't want to accept their mistakes and their flaws. They don't want to have to accept it and also fix it and work on it, you know? But I feel like once you do that, once you repent, and once you develop a closer relationship with Christ, um, really, it's you, you, it's you and Him, and, and and there's nothing like completely surrendering to the will of God, like just like with the COVID, you know. That's why I have no, I have no worries about the vaccination, um, because you know I know that if it is for me to get it then I'm going to get it. If it's not for me to get it, then I'm not going to get it. You know, I feel like the Holy Spirit is in my life enough to guide me to where I need to be, you know, and that's been evident throughout my life. So I can't, I can't fear, I can't fear anything other than God, you know, I can't fear anything other than Yahweh at this point in my life. Um, so to anybody out here pushing fear about the vaccinations or anything like that you know i you know i, I really and truly am skeptical skeptical of the vaccinations you know there's a reason why they keep pushing it so hard you know there's a reason for all of this but i can't be i can't be fearful of it you know um because that's just not i don't think that's in the will of god to to fear something other than him and like I said, I've been getting vaccinations my whole life, you know. A lot of these people that, that fear the vaccine, they've been vaccinated. So I just, you know, I really can't, I can't fear these things. You know, the only thing I can do is pray about it. And pray that I can, whatever comes, I'll be strong enough to withstand it, you know. And so, 
that's all that's really all i wanted to say today the topic of this was just completely surrendering to the will of god complete surrender there's a lot of things you know my flesh you know there's a lot of things my flesh tells me to do a lot of things that my flesh wants to do but i just i don't do it because of the holy spirit because of god you know so that's all i wanted to say today god bless y'all and also, you know, there are some days where I am just like, God, you know what? Do you really want me to take a picture of this? Do you really want me to post this? You know, sometimes I don't I don't even want to like, I don't even want to post it, you know? But I, I listen to the will of God, I listen to the Holy Spirit because some, some days I'm just like, I don't, I don't know how this is going to be perceived. I don't know how people are going to look at me, you know? But that's the thing that's been keeping me bound in the first place is caring about what other people thought of me and not enough about what God thought of me, not about enough about what, what Jesus thought of me. So I'm, I've been having to, like I said, completely surrender to the will of God and move beyond what I think and, and, and how I feel other people are going to perceive things <clears throat> and move more towards how God feels about what I'm doing you know so that's just more of of what I've been um what I've been realizing and it's a lot of days where you know I've been getting a lot of backlash a lot of negative energy from literally people I don't know and, and literally has had no positive impact in my life whatsoever you know I've been getting a lot of a backlash from people I don't even know. I've literally never even met. I don't bother. Really, I don't bother on um, on any real occasion. But you know, they've these energies have just gravitated towards me, and that's just showing me that whatever I'm doing, I'm I must be doing something right, you know. And God must be using me for for some some um, bigger purpose. So again, God bless you all. Hang in there and happy Monday.